everyone, welcome back to Kwai Crafts. Today I'm going to be making some resin hair clips. I've done this before, way back at Christmas time. If you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link for you in the description. On the screen right now are the supplies I will be using for this video. If you would like to get some of these materials, I will also leave links for that in the description for you. Let's get on with the crafting. The first thing I did was fill my clip molds with a light layer of clear UV resin. I made sure to coat it evenly, used heat to pop any bubbles that might be in the resin, then cured it with the UV light. Then I'm going to mix any of the colors that I would like to use and pour them into the clips. I will be using UV resin for this project. For the first clip, I decided to make it look like cotton candy, so I'm using a pastel pink and pastel blue coloring. I don't exactly know what kind of products these are, somebody sent them to me a long time ago but I chose them because they have a sugar-like texture. For the second hair piece, I chose to do a purple color. I'm using a Recollections glitter called Fairy Dust and adding some of this pearly resin dye. I'm trying to go with like a space cloud look for this color. And for the third piece, I wanted to go with a spring pink and white theme. I mixed some pearl dye and some of these holographic glitter bits together for the first color. And for the second color, I'll be using the remaining pink from the first hair piece. Once all the resin is poured, I'll leave the pieces sit for a bit and then use heat to pop any bubbles that are left. Then I'll place it into my UV light to cure. Remember, always flip over your UV pieces to cure both sides or else you may be left with a sticky front to the piece. When everything was cured, I went ahead and popped the pieces out of the mold. I noticed there were some parts that went slightly over the mold, so to remedy this, I used an emery board to file down all the edges. And now we can decorate the front of each clip. I started by adding a thin layer of clear UV resin, spread that out a bit, and then began adding the items that I would like on the clips. For the first clip, I chose this pastel blue candy piece, which didn't want to stay in place very well. And I also chose these two small white heart cabochons. Then I placed it into the UV light to cure. I decided to make my second clip into a soot sprite piece. I used some of these Soot Sprite Fimo pieces and some holographic stars from a sprinkle mix around the side, then added some cute pastel star cabochons, more Soot Sprites and stars, and a small white rhinestone. Then I placed it into the UV light to cure. And for the last piece, I placed on some sakura flower sprinkles and a few clear and pink rhinestones to make it look like springtime. And again, I placed it into the UV light to cure. Once all the pieces were cured, I flipped each piece over, added a light layer of UV resin, and then placed on the metal clips. Then I put them into the UV light to cure, and they were finished. I really love how these clips turned out. I've already worn them a few times each. I will be doing some more clips in the future, so let me know in the comment section what themes you would like to see on future pieces. If you're new to my channel and like what I do, please subscribe. Go ahead and give me a like if you feel inclined to. And don't forget to check out the description and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Am I missing any? Well, that's all I have for you today. Be sure to check back next week for a new craft. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and thanks again for watching.